All right, YouTube. So it's going to be a video on the my Regal 300 internal protein skimmer. Uh, what I noticed is after uh, purchasing it, I don't know, maybe six months ago, um, the airline inside the pump needed to be cleaned because it was it was uh, clogging up. There's a the air muffle system right there that always gets a little bit of salt creep inside there, and you have to. Well, what I do is. I put warm water inside there, shake it, and that um, it's a really hard salt crystal in there, so it kind of dissolves it. That's how I clean that. But um, down here, inside here, I didn't realize that it was actually getting dirty and getting plugged up and uh, losing a lot of the air intake. So I'm gonna pause the video real quick, and I'm gonna take that piece off and show you show you what I cleaned and and the modification that I've done too. As you can see. Uh, the hose for my bio pellet reactor, it just exits uh, close to the protein skimmer. That's not ideal. So let me show you what I've done and we'll see if it works out. All right, what I had to do is um, there's a ring inside there. So the air line right there goes around, let me show you again. So it goes around that fitting and inside there, Inside here, it's got low light. It was getting clogged up. So I cleaned that out and I want to show you the little modification I did. So let me pause the video again. All right, so I bought a T. Um, I got that piece a little bit large for the, so it's an inch and a quarter, an inch and a quarter. And I took my Dremel and notched that out. This part's three quarter. It's a little bit big for my hose, but um, it was either buy some extra fittings to reduce it down or just leave it like that. So, I mean, I can always reduce it down if uh, it doesn't fit in right. So, this is just the first run. I haven't even tried it yet, so you guys are first to see. And that's the that's the air intake that I took off the end of the pump. That part was dirty inside that tube right there. And the air inlet. So, let me pause it one more time and I'll put all the pieces together. All right, so here I've got the um, hose in there. As you can see, I've got the T. Uh, it slips over that little thing, and then the hose, the air inlet, sits there. So it's a, it's larger than the outlet, so it shouldn't obstruct it. Let me uh, turn up my pellet reactor a little bit. Get that going like it should, and then let me turn my skimmer back on. See if everything works out. It should be adjusted unless it's changed something. It should be at that red line right here. As it fills up, so it's on. Look this works out. Still, it's still sucking in debris and watch. There it goes. Some of the bigger pieces that you see floating around are from when I cleaned the skimmer. Yeah, so it's working and that's pretty much where I had it before. Right about there, so it seems to be working the same. This is pretty cool. All right. And I have another idea. Um, everyone's running some um, algae scrubbers. I was gonna try and work out an idea to put some nylon ties right there around those the um, the exit out of my uh, cube tank into my sump and run the screen down and hook a light right in here um, and maybe put some. Uh, light guards on the other end so I don't get algae in different areas of the sump that's not wanted but maybe maybe they can set some up right here where it just runs down it and have me um, some kind of algae scrubber right there that's just an idea for thought if you guys have any ideas too I know everyone runs uh, they make a separate external one somewhere or internal in a pump somewhere but uh, I'm trying to figure out where to, where to run one so my my uh, phosphates are not ideal. My nitrates are with the uh, the 
pellet reactor, but my phosphates, they're a little bit high. So, we'll see how that works out. Alright, thanks for watching.